Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. Uh, last time, we got, uh, we got Kay's ending all the way down here. Uh, and apparently he looks like us? But, uh, he was kind of dead and we were dying, so we didn't really get to ask him anything about that. So now we're back at the door choice. And we're gonna go through the green door with Luna, I believe, because I don't think the red door is an option. Alice, Luna, the green door. Right. I'm coming. Alrighty. Let's go. I need to turn my volume down just a little bit. They both took off to for the door, and I followed behind at a run. I glanced back over my shoulder in time to see the others head in their respective doors. Fi, Dion, K ducked into the red door, just as Tenmi Oji carried Quark through the blue door, Clover right on his heels. Okay. Two, one, zero. Roger, Dodger. Chromatic doors closing. Thank you, announcer. Uh, once again. Okay, this is, I believe, the Gollum Bay. If I'm remembering correctly... Whoa! Is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. Yes. That's unfortunate. What's this thing here? It looks like the device next to the number nine door. Right. Why don't you try pulling the lever? Might as well. Okay, yes it is. This is the door that opened on the other route that led to the Golem Bay. Huh? Look at the door on the right. It opened. Huh. That doesn't make sense. Why would just the one on the right open? Now how do you open the other two? You're probably just overthinking it. That door opened. That means we're going through it. Right. Bring it on. But... Don't go soft on me now. Okay. I'm behind. Right. Come on, Sigma, let's go. Got it. Yeah, baba doo doo da da dee. Hello. It's time for the Golem Bay. Hello. Anybody here? No. No, you probably wouldn't be. What is this place? It is kind of confusing, isn't it? Yeah. What is it for? That is a very good question. Well, I think it looks like some sort of workroom. Right. If you say so. We should split up and search it. Indeed. We need to find um key cards with moon symbols on them, right? Right. Yes. They should be somewhere in this room. Should, yes. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. It's time to find those key cards and seek a way out! Nice! Okay. Well. Oh my. What the heck is this guy? Maybe it's an Egyptian mummy. What? Anyway, you look at it, it's a robot! Then maybe it's a robot? There's no maybe about it. I can't imagine it's anything else. You're kidding, right? That's insane. Well, what do you think it is? Just a well-made mannequin? Uh, no, probably not. Okay, we got a block. What is this? It feels kind of greasy. Maybe it's oil? That seems likely, yes. A robot-y thing. I don't think it's just a crash test dummy or something like that. We got a radio! Whoa! It's got an antenna. Do you think it could be a radio? Why don't you try tuning it, turning it on? Yeah, well, I tried that. Nothing happens. Maybe the batteries are dead? Hmm. What is it? I don't think it runs on batteries. There's an electrical socket on the side here. So you're saying it needs a power cable. Oh. Alright, good to know. 
Let's just take a look around the room. Blue battery. Okay, good to know. A toolbox. It's got a key in it. Huh? That's odd. What is it? This key. It obviously goes to this key keyhole, but it won't turn. Can you get it out? Hmm, let me see. It's very rusty. Good good no. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Yes indeed. Oh hey, another piece. Can we combine these pieces? Yes we can! There are a number of things scattered all across the workbench. Whoa! Anybody else feel dizzy all of a sudden? No? That was just your imagination. Yeah. Right, whatever. So what the heck is this? I have no idea. Which makes it pretty useless to us. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I could... What are you going to do with that? That's a, that's a good question. Oh, hey, this looks important. A poster, huh? It's a little unsettling. Maybe it's a clue. Yeah, let's take it. Okay. Anything in these lockers? There's a white jacket in here. It looks like there's something on the lapel. A name tag? Harold! I see. ID 11010. Harold. This name tag must belong to a Mr. Harold. There's also something written on the back of it. Right. A white jacket, huh? Oh, look. There's something in this pocket. Oh, hey, another piece! Convenient. We got a star. Is this a binder? There's a single piece of paper in here. It looks like a list. You have found a frequency list. Okay. A doctor's coat, huh? Would you like me to put it on? Huh? Why? I just thought you might be into that kind of thing. But, but what? I, I don't know what you're talking about. See? Bullseye. Look at you, all bashful. You can be cute when you're embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> uh, whatever you say, Alice. Whatever you say. A desk with some drawers. There's a PC monitor and keyboard on top of it. Where's the computer? I'd imagine it's built into the monitor. Hmm. It's kind of hard to see in, the, in this light, but there's a single cable running out from the back of it. Is it a power cable? I think so. Then maybe we can connect it to something with an electrical socket. Have you seen anything like that, Sigma? Wait, you're holding it right now. Hurry up and plug it in. Okay. I think we can plug this cable into the radio. Perfect. That's a pretty old keyboard. It looks like it's been used quite a bit. Nothing happens when we try typing on it. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, let's uh let's check out this uh frequency list. 400. That's what we want to do. Cuz it said I the the ID said 11010. So, let's try 400. I guess it's nice that we've plugged this radio in, but what should we do with it now? Why didn't you try tuning it? What? You need to adjust it so it's picking up a specific frequency. Maybe we'll hear something. Exactly. If we get really lucky, maybe we, it can pick up transmissions from outside. Okay. You must press the tuning buttons exactly four times. Okay. Right. I'll see what I can do. Okay. So... Okay, so that... The three makes it go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces forward. 
That makes it go five spaces forward. That makes it go three. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> Got it first try, and uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do. What? What was that noise? Look, the monitor. Oh, hey. It reacted to the noise from the radio and turned on. So it's some kind of voice recognition system, then? It looks that way, yes. There's something on the screen. This is... I think it's a blueprint for, of this room. You have found an image of the room layout. Nice. Don't know what that's going to do for us, but uh, sure. We found a tablet. Doesn't look like it's going to open. It's probably locked. I don't see a keyhole anywhere, though. No good. It won't open. Is it locked? Yeah. Well, there's a keyhole here, so we could probably get it open if we can find a key that fits. Good to know. Hold on. Doesn't this button seem suspicious? Yeah. Most of the buttons are boring or just incomprehensible, but this one speaks to me. What does it say? Come on, a big red button on a plate with black and yellow stripes? It couldn't scream, don't press me, any louder if it said, don't press me on it. Is it a self-destruct button? Maybe the moment we press it, we'll hear a soft hiss, and the room will start to fill up with poisonous gas. What if it launches a missile? I don't know. That seems a little... Yeah. Luna! You fool! <laughs> hey! What are you doing? It's okay. There's no way anything really dangerous would just be right out here. I'm pretty sure Zero Senior wants us to play through this whole game. It wouldn't make much sense to just kill us all... J to just kill us in one of these rooms. Maybe, but that's just your opinion. You could be wrong. Well, I guess so. Then why the hell did you... Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Nothing happened. So there's nothing to get to get mad about, all right? Hmm. You heard that noise, though, right? Like something trying to start up. Okay. Well, we should probably uh, put this thing in the wall over here. What's this thing? It's shaped like a star. Maybe you need to put something into it? Something that's shaped like a star, I'm assuming. We have a thing shaped like a star. Huh? That's odd. I want to fit. The star-shaped block? Yeah. It's the same shape and everything. Well, maybe it's not the right size. I guess so. It looks like this block is a little too big to fit. Okay. Good to know. So what do we got? Oh, 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 oh. Why don't we go over here? Maybe if I put this rusty key in the oil. Oil covered key. Nice. Now let's open that toolbox. Boop. dab a -doop. I guess it worked. The lock's open. Yeah. Let's have a look inside then, shall we? There's a bunch of stuff in here. Might as well have a look then. Bottle of detergent. A screwdriver. A silver key. Okay. Well. Let's just see if this works. Yes, it worked. Now open it. Hold on, no need to rush me. Oh, hey. Yes, it fits perfectly. Did did you just hear a noise? Yeah. From the middle drawer. The middle one, huh? No, I can't. Oh my! We got a handle! Is this a handle? Look at the end of the shaft. It's the same shape as that block we made. Then maybe it fits in, into a star-shaped hole. Have you seen anything like that might that this might fit into, Sigma? 
Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk today to save my life. Let's just put this in and turn it. Yes, perfect. Do you think you can turn it? Yeah, give me a sec. What the hell? Something's coming down from the ceiling. Th those are... Oh my! More robots! Oh dear. Oh my god. They look just like the thing on the table. Robots. Oh dear. There's a lot of robots. Hey! Give me that! Battery B. Red battery, whatever. Why is this one wearing boxer shorts? <laughs> this one's wearing boxers. It, yeah, looks like it. Why would a robot be wearing underwear? Maybe he's, uh, hiding something. Hiding what, though? Like a diary or something? Why the hell would you hide a diary in your... <laughs> oh gosh, I started... Oh gosh. I started joking on my own spit with that. Oh no. Why the hell would you hide a diary in your crotch? Okay, well, maybe he's got a hose or something. Whoa, damn. Way to cut to the chase there. Whatever, we'll know as soon as we get them off. Remove these shorts of... <laughs> obfuscation and let us gaze upon it this so-called hose are you getting a little too excited about this all right here goes uh, luna i haven't done anything yet he's still decent besides when you covered your face you opened your fingers so you could see out how old are you <laughs> ah you two are driving me nuts i'll just take them off Huh? Hiya! Okay, well now we have boxers. Boxers? You should try them on, Sigma. Wh what? Why? I thought they might suit you. Why would you think that? Well, what do we need them for if, they're, if we're not supposed to wear them? Hmm. Maybe we're supposed to use them to wipe something? Uh, not to wear it, but to wipe. Yes, I think that's it. Okay. Is that it? It looks just like the other robots. That's a letdown. What the hell were you hoping for? That's a that's a statement from uh from me and uh, Sigma. Boxers soaked in detergent. Ah, so you soaked them in detergent. You shouldn't have any problems with that oil now. Well, why, thank you. Okay, here goes. You're going to wipe up the oil with the boxers, right? Yeah. Okay, go for it. You don't need to tell me twice. Good. Looks like it's clean now. I wonder what this is. There's something written here that the oil was covering up. A-O-Z-I? No, you're reading it from the wrong angle. 120V. Okay. A robot-y thing. It's just like all the others that just drop down from the ceiling. Okay. Well. Let's see. We haven't found anything to use the screwdriver on yet. Have we? Have I missed something? Oh, hey, what's this? This came down with the robots, right? Yes. It's got a pipe running out of it towards them. I have a feeling that means there's a connection there. Supply the correct voltage by connecting the wires. You can begin anywhere on the left and finish anywhere on the right. You can rotate a wire by selecting its corresponding square. The numbers in the middle of each wire indicate the voltage of that wire. Okay, let me just give this a try. Okay. So... We need 120, right?
That's 110. Which is not what we need. That's 150. That doesn't work. Okay. The, the, the thing that makes this complicated is the fact that it's it's only it is only these uh, very specific angles makes it very awkward. That's 65. 110, okay. So if we could somehow get... What if we could do... No, that doesn't work. Sadly. Fifteen. Ham. 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 One fifty. Okay. If we could cut out the sixty and replace it with this thirty. We'd get to 120 like we need. But there's no way to get uh, get to that, is there? Actually, there might be. Hold on. So we'd have to cut out... Did I? Yes, one twenty. <laughs> Good job, Sigma. Oh, you're amazing. I've fallen for you all over again. Again? <laughs> hey, what? Power distribution complete. Preboot sequence complete. Please press the power button located on the console. W whoa, what was that? I'm not sure. Better do what it says, though. Right. Hi, robots. Bye, robots. We're gonna press the big button. That announcement just now was about this button. You guys ready? I'm gonna push it. Yes, I'm ready. Same here. Go for it. All right. And there. Okay. Uh, did it work? Ah, look! Their eyes! Eyes? Oh my! They're super creepy now! I mean, they were creepy already, but uh, one of the robot's eyes is glowing red. Both of these... this robot's eyes are dark. Both of these... the robot's eyes are glowing red. Okay, um, well... Let's take a look at the... Okay, the rough sketch of the room. Okay. Well, we've done everything with that. Okay. Let's actually... Oh, gosh. Forgot. Okay. R. B. 
be... This is gonna be a bit of a mess. That's close enough to an M. Okay, you know what? No, I'm not gonna spend, like, a bunch of time. So we're just gonna draw it with a mouse. I see... On... Puh. Uh, duh, duh, that's not a. That's not a. <laughs> that's not an O. <laughs> oh gosh. Even my my handwriting with a mouse is terrible. Okay, and we'll just draw little lines between each of them. Just so we remember that these are all separate. Okay. Uh, let me get my mouse off the screen. Okay. Now, let's see. The thing is, I don't know where to input these. Uh, it's gonna... Hold on, we haven't used the, the screwdriver yet, have we? How about this? Nope. Are you serious? Okay. Maybe I could try hitting something with it. What would you hit? Very good question. Anything else on the keyboard? Type on it, but nothing happens. Lower part of the control console, there are switches and dials everywhere. They all make absolutely zero sense to me. Hello, Mr. Robot. Let's see. There's probably... Can we in input things on here? The screen is going white. I could probably leave it alone now. Okay. The screen is going white. So I could probably leave it alone now. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Oh, duh. Duh. I have a tablet. I didn't even think about the tablet. Okay, well, the tablet's open now. And we'll put the batteries in. Oh, hey, the power's on. It's showing something. An, authentic an authentication screen, maybe? It probably has some sort of security lock. Enter the password, then press the enter button on the right. Okay. Well, we don't have the password just yet. Put in 12 characters. Is there 12 of anything else in here? If there is, maybe there's a connection? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, yes. So it is the robots. The robot's eyes, specifically. Okay. Let's pull up the memo. We'll just put a little line underneath anything that's got uh, an actual glowing eye. That's not right. That's not a red line. And then it's the N on here. It would be... The thing is, I'm trying to interpret this. So I think it's two here. The O. The H. The F. And then the O. Maybe? Yeah, and that's not green. It's not red, whatever. 
Okay, uh, let's just see how this works. B E A C B E A C O N O N Beacon P Okay. Um do these spell out something? O F H O P Beacon of Hope. Okay. Beacon of Hope. Beacon of Hope. Alright! So that's one password, most likely. You did it, Sigma! You got through the login! Beacon of Hope. How optimistic! Sure, sure. Look at the screen. Okay. Hmm. Is this... the password for the safe? Okay. So now we need to reinterpret this. So we're going to use blue. I O Nothing, nothing. And then A no M R B And then the other side, so the... Okay. So it's... Nah, again, <laughs> keeps changing the color on me, because I, uh... Keep forgetting... So, hold on, so... The left eye... Okay. Ba -ba so E no wrong color again. F and S wrong color. <laughs> okay. So now we need to interpret. R P M A. Let's see. Let's just try inputting it in order. I feel like it's gonna spell out something as opposed to just being a random string of letters, so this is probably wrong. S F E. H C P. You yeah, know, I didn't think so. If I do it backwards, no, that's not right. Huh? I don't get it. What is Luna talking about? What else is there 12 of in here? I mean, you've already gotten the, c the correct code. Okay. Let me think about this. Is there another way to interpret this? What if we try... I don't think this is gonna work, but let's try 
The bottom row is this side. So S. E N. C. O. P. So two dots on the end. What if we just go there? A nothing dot and dot. Okay, let me hope. I, let's hope I can actually remember that uh, immediately. Okay. And let's start with the the bottom one, maybe. Shen. Yeah, no, this doesn't look right. It's definitely got to be a phrase. I'm just trying to f remember how to interpret the phrase. Like, I'm, I'm really surprised I immediately got the first version. I'm really surprised. Okay, I need to. I need to clear. No, 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 no. I don't want to clear everything. I want to clear anything but the red lines. Because the red lines were the solution for the actual puzzle. Maybe it's a lot simpler than I th think it is. What if it's just the opposite? Hold on. How many blanks are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. So it can't be the blanks. Unless I've accidentally erased 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, I did erase 2 accidentally. Okay. Um. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that wasn't smart. Okay, so the, to the, the top one was this side, right? So let me just double check that I've got. Okay, check, check. Okay, I erased uh, this accidentally. Get off the screen, mouse. Thank you. Okay, so I got that side correct. Oh, and I accidentally erased this one. Wrong color again. Check. Oh, did I? Wait. Hold on, what? Wait. But. Check, check. Not. Check! Wait. What did I do wrong? What did, what did I change here? Oh no! I'm starting to panic! Oh no! Okay, let's just... No, okay. We know it's... Beacon... Of hope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This should be marked. There, right, right, because I, uh... Did... Right, 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 right. I remember, I remember how I got this now. Okay, it's fine. So what if it is everything that is not, um, what if it's everything that's not lit up? 
Let's just, uh, okay. R E M. I N I. Right? Yeah, I N I. I. M or N? N I. Okay. S C E. M C E. Oh, hey! Okay, it was. Okay, good. I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. Huh. I suspected as much. Good work. I'm impressed. What's our prize, I wonder? The screen's changed. Huh. This looks different. The symbols have changed, and they're in different places. Moon, sun, star. Okay. Okay, that took a little bit, a little bit of time, but we're fine. Huh? There's a button up here. Then maybe you should press it. Right. Here goes. Hi. Look. It's eyes. They're glowing red. Does that mean it's on? Okay, well, we'll just uh, put in the password. This is a safe, right? It looks like the ones in the AB rooms and the lounge. Yeah, this is this one is embedded in the table, but the door looks the same. It probably works like the others too then. We just need a password to open it, right? Moon, sun, star. We got the golden password. You did it. Good work. Hmm. Well done. What's with the attitude? Never mind that. Let's just see what's inside. All right. Got the secret file. I uh, already have forgotten the green password. Okay. Moon, moon, star. Ta-da! All right. Oh, it opened again. I wonder what's inside this time. There's a lot of stuff in here. That's good, isn't it? Better than having nothing, at least. Let's go through... Let's go through them one by one. First, we've got... A map. It says Floor B. The map we found in the lounge said Floor A on it. Well, we took the elevator down to get here, so... Floor A must be the upper floor. Yeah. Keep going. There's still a lot in there. These must be... Key cards. They have a picture on, of the moon on them. This must be what the announcer was talking about then. And we've got two of them, just like with the sun cards. You should take one, Luna. Huh? Why? You're a solo. Alice and I can keep the other one. It's a lot of the same, because things play out similarly. <laughs> it happens. Oh, oh, of course. Thank you. I'm, I'm wondering, I think I'm going to end the episode as soon as we exit, as soon as we unlock the door, just because I'm pretty sure I know what's hap about to happen, and I feel like it's going to take longer than like 15 minutes. So, yeah. Okay, Harrison Moore wrote for the MP game, ba -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. so all three of us can't abstain. There has to be at least one vote. Why would there be a rule like that, though? It seems... pointless. I think Zero Senior wants to make sure people are actually playing the game, regardless of the situation. What sort of situation are you talking about? Well, it could be anything, really. Whatever. We're, we've only got two things left. What's this thing? It looks like some sort of plug or key. I'd guess you insert it into something and twist. Did you see anything in here that it could fit into? Even if we did, it, does it really matter at this point? What? Look in the safe. What's the last thing in there? A key. Is that the key to the exit? Pretty sure it is. We can get out now. 
Nice. Awesome. Let's... Wait. What should we do about the plug? Um, fine. I guess I'll hold on to it. I doubt we'll need it, but you never know. Sounds good. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna end as soon as we uh, stick the key in because I believe something's about to happen. Lock for the door. Right now it says lock. You guys ready? I'm gonna open the door. Go ahead. I'm all set. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. You found it. Hooray! Now, oh, Top Governor. Hi! This is what I was talking about. We'll figure out whose uh, fancy accent that belongs to uh, next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Buh bye bye I'm such a tease sometimes.